I want to thank my distinguished uh, colleague from the great state of Wisconsin for yielding uh, time to me on this amendment and on the underlying bill. The question was just asked, why do we have a White House Gender Policy Council? It's a pretty simple answer to that question. Because here in America, there are two contrasting visions as it relates to reproductive freedom. Democrats believe in a woman's freedom to make her own reproductive health care decisions. Extreme MAGA Republicans have a very different view. Extreme MAGA Republicans want to criminalize abortion care. Extreme MAGA Republicans want to impose a nationwide ban. Extreme MAGA Republicans want us to live in a society where women have government-mandated pregnancies. That's the dichotomy that we confront right now. Reproductive freedom is at issue all across America. And you're either on the right side of that issue or you're on the wrong side. And we believe that my Republican colleagues continue to march us toward a nationwide abortion ban. Just look at the underlying legislation, which by its very definition restricts hundreds of thousands of people here in the District of Columbia as it relates to reproductive freedom. Why is it in this bill? It's because there's a real policy difference. House Democrats support a woman's freedom to make her own reproductive health care decisions, period, full stop. A choice that should be between a woman, her doctor, her faith, her family, not a bunch of extreme politicians. But that's the vision that's being offered to us by our friends on the other side. of the That's the reason why the White House has taken the step forward to make sure that they're protecting women all across America from efforts to try to criminalize abortion care. And I wonder what lesson has been learned from the events of just this week? What lesson was learned in Ohio? What lesson was learned in Virginia? What lesson was learned in Kentucky, the deepest of red states? Why does this continue to happen? Jam an extreme right-wing ideology down the throats of the women of America. That is what we're against. That is why we oppose this amendment. That is one of the reasons why we oppose this underlying bill. Now, from the very beginning of this Congress, House Democrats have made clear, we want to find common ground with our Republican colleagues on any issue, whenever and wherever possible, if it relates to making life better for everyday Americans. House Democrats are all about putting people over politics, fighting for things like lower costs, growing the middle class, safer communities, things that will make a difference, solve problems in the lives of everyday Americans. And part of the challenge that we faced is that the extreme MAGA Republican agenda continues to be focused on the wrong things. Extreme MAGA Republican agenda focused on defaulting on America's debt, shutting down the government, crashing the economy, criminalizing reproductive freedom, cutting Social Security and Medicare, impeaching President Biden, and doing nothing to deal with affordability issues or improving the quality of life of everyday Americans. That's a shame. And so, yes, we're going to continue to oppose Republican efforts to criminalize abortion care. Now, tomorrow, 
next month, next year, and forever until this effort to take away reproductive freedom is buried in the ground, never to rise again.